Hello, Virgos. Welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your general bonus read for the month of April. Let's see what's going to come up for you in love, money, and career. Who's coming towards you? What's happening? Since this is a general reading, take what resonates and you what does not resonate. For personal readings, white spells and premium crystals, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, or email. All the details are given down below in the description box, Virgos. Check out my Instagram at iNigma.in. Do follow for daily updates, monthly updates. Okay. Okay. Why is your energy a little excited? Like, too excited, I feel. Yes. <clears throat> Recently, you have had a heartbroken ending with someone. Very bad one. There were a lot of fights. Some of you have come out of a bad marriage and starting your life all over again. Finding love for self and attracting new love offers. <coughs> Since February, you've been getting good opportunities, okay? I feel like right now, Virgo, you're, you're trying to heal yourself. This healing hasn't taken place. Even the love offers that are coming from February are not honest or not the ones that you are you can trust in okay then someone is not your type someone is just ex expecting some um you know they're, they're coming with some intention they're expecting some output some benefit from you so you're not feeling that almost i would say you've lost interest in tr love or you have lost passion okay so you've been walking away, especially something majorly has happened that has affected you deeply, deeply. Maybe some of you have lost a job, okay? But what you did is walked away from a situation where respect did not, uh, wasn't served. Okay, you're trying to get back and feel good about yourself once again, okay? Move towards a new beginning in your life slowly you're getting there i'm seeing a new job opportunity i'm seeing new money making opportunity coming in i'm seeing a lot of growth coming in okay success coming in i feel from june onwards things will rapidly move forward even now i'm seeing in april you're going to make strict decisions for yourself okay when it comes to your career you're going to be very strict you know what you want and you're going to be um unapologetic towards your needs towards your dreams and desires if you will be successful for sure some of you are into law law practice you're gonna do really well in your work okay probably a libra that you walked away from wow oh my gosh someone in love is coming in towards you someone emotional is coming in towards you you will be in a relationship make sure that you're not trusting the person right off the bat there is a need for you to be cautious because the options that are right now coming towards you are more self-centered or self-obsessed are concerned about their happiness there is some advantage they're taking from you and nothing more than that and you might end up opening up your heart and then realizing no this is not the person for me you have to be very cautious Virgo, but I'm seeing a lot of peace and happiness in your life is coming in, okay, from zero to abundant, I'm seeing like you will be abundant, you will make a lot of money, maybe you didn't have enough uh, income in the past, in the recent past, like I feel like since five months or in five months from now, your income is increasing, okay, there's a drastic increase in money okay you will have a stable job opportunity maybe you need to look for other options Virgos. and if your job is doing really well you have someone that is coming towards you within two months time to marry you so i'm seeing you will be marrying someone okay that is coming towards you there will be a lot of love between the two of you so i'm seeing stability is coming in your life a solid foundation is coming in probably with the taurus yes i'm seeing you will be in a relationship here Someone is going to chase you like crazy when they see you will be chasing you. Who is this person? Let me see. Who is this person?
person is going to chase you. Okay. Okay, this could be a Pisces, a very complete, a very different person from your past uh, people that you've dated. This person is someone that is a job person. Okay, does a lot of hard work. This person likes to be honest with the with their work like they don't like uh, money coming from you know indirect ways or not putting f efforts they really are extremely noble soul and this is someone that you know only wants what they you know think that they've worked for okay they don't have any demands financially Okay, this person is extremely down to earth, is what, what I'm seeing. They will see a future partner in you. They'd want to marry you. Yeah, great fortune. Oh my gosh. Now, this is clear. This is someone that started from scratch and became super rich. That's the person that's coming for you. This is someone that's coming from a long distance. They could have a child also. They could be slightly older or this is someone that is younger than you. I feel like you are younger than this person. <clears throat> They're going to message you soon. Okay. This person is someone that values relationships. You might meet this person through a friend of yours or a sibling of yours. Uh, someone that you already knew, you know. You will meet them through this person. A mutual friend. And there will be instant attraction, interaction between the two of you. Okay, there will be instant uh, attraction and you guys will talk a lot, but there's this energy of the past person trying to come in between you guys. Oh God, no, that, that can happen. Okay, where it goes? Wow, there will be a lot of attraction between the two. You haven't met this person yet. No, you haven't met this person, but first, Make sure that you've released and cut all ties with your past person because the moment you get on with a new love, the past will try to come back and ruin everything. That's very strongly visible. I lost myself for a little while. I'm afraid to contact you. I feel like maybe you've left the past long before. They're trying to come back and return in your life, especially when you have someone new. Be bold and make the first move. I feel this new love is someone that you should be focusing on. But I'm right now seeing you becoming extremely independent, taking decisions of your life yourself without this person. You're not wanting this person in your life anymore. Yes, someone from the past really is not letting you go. Okay, there is an unfinished symphony that you need to close the chapter, guys. Someone from the past you need to close. Stay disciplined, stay assertive, make a decision and stick to it, okay? So over there is an on and off energy happening from the past person. Some of you are seeking approval of the past person. Somewhere there is a people pleasing attitude in you that you need to work on right now. But I'm definitely seeing that if someone loves you, that person will be with you no matter what happens. So if this person has been on and off leaving you and then coming back, you have to be very strict in taking this decision of releasing them because healing is needed. Some of you, yes, you guys have been heartbroken. There is a need of healing right now. You guys need to heal. Stop entertaining someone from the past because what you don't see is a lot of stability and joy will come in. So you are bound to be extremely happy and joyful, stable in life. You will have a solid foundation. You will build a family, you will get married. But the first thing that you have to do is walk away from someone from the past that literally is, you know, uh, playing with you, playing with your mind. You're going to build a family with someone new. You need to decide now, okay, of letting go of someone that is just not on the same page as you are. Okay, we see what else is happening in love for you next. Yes, there is a need for you to walk away because this person will keep on you know uh going back and forth with you until unless you don't cut the cords completely until unless you don't stay fixated on your decision they will keep on playing with you and that is why you're hurting you need to stop giving a damn about the past what are they doing how are they you know whatever it is i feel this person is dating a lot of people behind your back so you 
or just you know being dragged along so there's someone that is bred from being you need to walk away from <clears throat> There's this also another thing that you feel burdened with the work. There's a lot of workload. So in a way, this this thing is a getaway from you, for you. This, this, this person that keeps coming back and forth is like an escape system for you because you're being overburdened with work. You need to come out of that burden. Okay, the burnout is very um, strong here right now. I feel there is a need for you to do something that is not related to work at all just to spend time doing things like socializing meeting friends making new friends people you know or doing some self-care self-love activities there is a need for you to stop working too much and pay attention to other things in life as well because you're going through a burnout and that is why i'm not able to take a decision that is right for you okay this might be a very very specific read guys so if it doesn't resonate that's just a Take it as a general advice. There is nothing stopping you. Yeah, you're acting like if I leave this person, I think I'll be making a mistake because maybe they want to change, maybe this, maybe that. If it's a maybe, then you need to understand that you can't waste on time on someone's, uh, you know, on, uh, in an expectation to change someone. You are free to leave. Universe is giving you sign you need to leave this person. There's someone that you are still entertaining in your life that's blocking your happiness. yes maybe it's because you're highly invested in this person in the past so that is why it was a difficult decision it is a difficult decision for you to release this person at least from your head maybe you have stopped talking to them but it's somewhere stuck in your head mentally it's affecting you okay because this person does have a major ha did have a major role in your life and suddenly leaving is like a big shock for you even this person is not able to fully detach themselves from you, maybe because you've spent four years together or a lot of time together, had done a lot for each other, and then suddenly things change and this person decided to walk away. But there are still feelings here from both the ends. And that is stopping you from walking forward in life, moving forward in life. Let me see your money. I'm also going to see an advice for you. Money, please. Goes. Hmm. oh wow you're going to have financial stability and that is the only thing your life purpose keeps you going it makes you feel better stable happy and i'm definitely seeing the growth is endless don't think that it is what it is you're going to be more successful so i'm seeing you laying a solid foundation i'm seeing you becoming more and more successful You'll start to get indulged into your work fully, devoted into your work fully, that you'll definitely expand money-wise. I'm seeing there is a lot of expansion over here. Let me see the advice for you, or was overall advice for you, what is it? Yes, it will take time. If this is a fresh separation, it will take time for you to forget this person, but the separation is the only key because this is becoming very cold and hurtful for you at least okay there is a need for you to stop trying it's time for you to go in the different direction do something else change your you know surroundings or stay away from this person like, like at least it'll take six months for you to finally completely have zero thoughts about this person <clears throat> but you have to take that step of walking away or accepting the truth that it is what it is let's see Whoever is coming towards you, their signs are the ones that you're dealing with to confirm this. Oh my gosh, your energy is all over the place right now, I feel. Right down in the comment section, I'm blessed by the universe. I'm making $100, $100 million every day. Like whatever you can think of, you can write that down. You'll be dealing with Pisces, Aries, Aquarius, Cancer. Pisces, right down the comment section, I'm living my best life, Amen, Leo, and Capricorn. Now, let me see from Aries to Pisces, what does your person think and feel for you? Aries, please. Aries is definitely very excited to date you, but they're taking their time because they don't want to ruin everything, the excitement that they have had 
after meeting you. The Taurus is thinking about you a lot. This person is planning to make an offer towards you. Gemini wants to shower you with compliments. This person has gone crazy. Cancer. I feel like this is someone you walked away from wants to come back for a commitment here. Leo. Leo is talking to you because they are thinking of marriage right now. Virgo. You can't trust this person. Or this is you, Virgo. You have been cheated very badly. You need a lot of healing. Libra. This person is going to chase you. Okay. I feel this person is someone that is uh, aggressive as well. Scorpio. Uh, someone is gaslighting them against you. Sagittarius. Once new beginning in love. Capricorn. Once equal give and take. This could be your soulmate. Aquarius. Aquarius is in two minds right now. I feel they're not able to change the direction, change the thought process. They need some time or let them be. Okay. Pisces, it's over and it's time for you to start a new journey. Okay. So now let me see the charms for you, Virgos. Okay, third party. I'm definitely seeing there's a continuous interference of someone that you're trying to end a cycle or you've ended a cycle with. The past is coming back and forth with you and is not allowing you to move on. You guys may have NNB in your name. Someone's from Namibia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Denmark, Venezuela. Okay, wait. Have some patience. You will, you definitely have new love coming into your life. Or sure. if you think it's no, there's no love, there is. I'm seeing noble. I'm seeing you're extremely kind and gentle, whereas this person is completely opposite. You're dealing with someone that's meant to leave and not, not meant to be, you know, entertained. You could be from Bombay, Nepal, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, Boston, Bangladesh, Bennett could be the name, Beethoven, Becky, I'm hearing Beleza, Beleza. Maybe it's a brand name or something. Yeah, you've been too busy working. I feel there is a need for you to say no to certain things and just take time out for yourself. You're going through a burnout. You don't know, but you have a lot of respect around people. Like They do respect you, honor you for the person that you are. Trust me on that. V could be there, Venezuela. Uh, Vicky, Victoria. There is a need for traveling more. Go have some fun. <clears throat> or someone is traveling towards you that is definitely at a higher position. Someone's from Nashville. Yeah, wow. There's going to be a deep romantic. I'm seeing romance in the air. No, not like that. Romance in flight, airplane. You guys may meet there. Okay, or may um have a date over there like very special date it's also what i'm seeing so that romance is definitely coming but right now there is a need for you to cut off cards of the past because this can go either ways it depends upon how you're dealing with people or how you're dealing with your life right now you need to end something from the past someone from kenya africa Someone is fond of Bon Jovi. Someone's from Bangkok. Canada. America. Beijing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Opportunity, yes. You have no idea. You have a lot of opportunities coming in your life. It's going to change your life. Especially, I think there's a possibility to meet this person in a vacation spot or in a flight. Is also what I'm seeing. Instant attraction, guys. Instant attraction. Someone's from Niwara, okay, is into Navy, into business, into cryptocurrency, into some sort of uh, investment or, you know, real estate. Avon could be the name. Avni. Someone is currently wearing an Armani 
shoes i'm hearing armani shoes yes this is going to this this person is going to put you on a pedestal they will treat you like you're the only one on earth that they've ever seen or looked on okay this person is highly loyal you're going to attract a very very loyal soul trust me on that all you need to do is maintain self-respect okay it doesn't matter if things are not going out of your hand it's okay so maybe you, you guys are in love with each other and you guys are wearing red color and dating unusual place of dating um they're going to give you a gift is also what i'm seeing so that's pretty much it and someone wears a uniform yeah barbis could be the name barney okay so these are the messages i hope you've enjoyed this thank you for your time please do like share comment and subscribe to i enigma i'll see you back again where it goes please take care of yourself bye